What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. This video is going to be part two of the interview of the Venezuelan hooker that I met on the streets of Bogota, Colombia. If you missed that interview, check down in the description below. I have a link to that interview. It was the best interview, the best video that I've done so far. It got over 140,000 views and it was really informative. It was a good time. So I interviewed this girl. I stayed in contact with her. Now let me fast forward because this is part two, okay? So I'm gonna fast forward and let you guys know what's going on. What's going on, for those of you who don't know, I'm an American guy, but I've lived in Mexico for about the past 17 years. I met this poor girl down in Bogota, and she was actually selling herself on the side of the street for about 20 to 25 bucks, okay? And I was like, whoa, I mean, that is seriously cheap, okay? And I felt bad for her, but anyways, we got to talking and whatnot, and I informed her that there were several jobs that she could do in Mexico and make a whole lot more money and make a better life for herself, okay? So, leave it to me. I'm going to be Captain save -a and my subscribers are going to be Captain save -a and we're going to put something together for this girl, and she's actually flying to Mexico in two weeks, okay? I've already bought her ticket to Mexico. Now, her getting into Mexico is going to be kind of tricky because she is actually a Colombian citizen. She's a dual citizen. So she travels on a Colombian passport, okay? And she does not have to have a visa to get into Mexico. However, Mexico's refusing a lot of people now. They're turning them back to South America. So she needs a plane ticket to Mexico, a plane ticket leaving Mexico, hotel reservations that are paid for, cash money, visa card, debit card. What she has to do is prove that she's in Mexico as a tourist. She's not in Mexico to work at Hooters in Cancun, to be a stripper, to work the street corner, to be a nanny, right? She's not in Mexico to do any of that. She's just in Mexico to be a tourist and to go back to Colombia. Here's the deal, guys. Smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. I'm going to tell you this. Just like I say in my live chats, I see fundraisers all the time for hungry children in Africa, for homeless vets, whatever the situation is. This girl is a refugee from Venezuela and she fell into the prostitution game, unfortunately, down in Bogota, Colombia. And you know what? I'm having a fundraiser for her. No strings attached, okay? So by watching this video, if you feel obligated to donate, Go ahead and smash that cash out button down there or hit me up on PayPal. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen, guys. She's going to fly into Mexico City two Fridays from now, okay? I'm going to give you guys some updates over the weekend. And as the day gets closer, I'm going to give you guys some more updates and some more updates, okay? So you're going to be able to take this journey with us, which the first part of the journey is down in the description below. It's a live 25-minute interview that I had with her one-on-one. -on -one down in Bogota, Colombia, okay? This is the second part of the journey right here. We're gonna talk about it a little bit more, but the third part of the journey, keep your fingers crossed, is gonna be when she gets into Mexico and she's over at my house. We're gonna get her some clothes, we're gonna get her a good job, we're gonna spin that girl's life around, she's gonna end up back in Venezuela on a big ranch growing pineapples or doing whatever they do down there, and she's gonna be successful, right? That's the goal of the channel. All right, guys, if you hadn't done it already, smash that like and subscribe button, and I'm only going to take up three or four minutes of your time right here, okay? Just wanted to update you guys on the situation. Until next time, we'll see you down the road. 